Hello guys and welcome back here to another tutorial. This time it's not a tutorial, this time we're going to do something practical in Word. This is our first example, so sit and watch. Okay, so let us have what it has to say. So they are telling us, uh, this was a paper, it's a paper from Ginger College, this is 2011 and it was requiring us to do some work using a suitable word processing software. Type this document as it is. So this time I won't type. Let me just copy and paste it. So they want me to type it from there up to here. So I'll copy it. I'll say control new, get a new file and paste it there. Okay, so this is my document as I have typed it. Let me try to remove this. Uh -huh. Yes, get, delete this in the examination and so on. So this is simply how the document would have looked like if I had typed it. Okay, so this is the type to work. So let us try to go back and we see. So they are telling us copy and paste the document on page four. They want us to copy the document that we just typed and we paste it to page number four. So I'll do like this. I told you, if you want to be on the safe side, if you are inserting pages, so they want us to create four pages, okay? Make this one smaller, come to page layout, okay? Page breaks, then you say next page, next page, next page. So these are four pages. So they want us to copy this work from this one here. You just highlight all your work, right click on that work, you say copy, come to page 4, then you paste it like that. So the shortcut is Ctrl C, that is Ctrl copy and Ctrl V. So that's what they wanted us to do. Number one, copying your work and it had I didn't put the marks, okay. Then they are saying, using the copy on page four, center bold, center bold, double underline the heading and make it font size 12 off. So let me just copy this. Let me copy this. Let me copy this so that I can easily remember it. So there, let me paste it. They have told me to edit the one on page four. Don't edit the one on page one. They have told us to edit the one on page number four. Let me zoom in. So I'm on page four of four. Let me type in what they want to me to do. So using, they are telling me uh, page four, center, bold, double underline the heading and make it font size 20. So when I move up, this is the heading exam preparation. They have told me to center it. I come to home, center it, bold it. Then they have told me to double underline. Remember I told you to double underline. Okay. You come here, you use this one here with the double underline. Then they have told me to uh, the heading and make it font size 20. So they want it to be 20. But when I click here, yeah, it's there. 20 is here. So that's it. So that's what they wanted. Uh, using a copy on page 4, center, bold, double underline the heading and make it font size 20. Okay, that's what they wanted. So I've done it. So let's go and see the other, what they wanted us to do. They said, add a first line indent of 0 0.5 inches to all paragraph add a first line indent of 0 0.5 inches to all paragraph okay they want us to add a first line indent so we have how many paragraphs we have one two three on all paragraphs so i'll just highlight like this i'll come here okay they want an indent first line of zero point five so i'll come here i'll be moving zero point five okay so first line okay they said first line indent so it is zero point five first line indent by zero point five are we together 
then you say okay let me try to remove this turn it back to zero they just told us 0.5 then I just put here and you see what happens then I say okay have you seen so every first line has been indented at 0.5 let's do that one more time highlight your text you come to uh, indent don't click here just click here as I told you before then they've told us to use first line under special you come to first line 0.5 you can increase it but they told us to use 0.5 then you say okay have you seen so every first line is beginning at 0.5 so that's what they needed uh -huh. let us go on and we see let us go on they're telling us we have finished this uh, italicize the source let me copy this let me copy this so that I don't forget it copy it to here they are telling me uh, italicize the source of the document and make it uh, make it font style Tahoma size 10.5 so the source document is the first document on page one which I copied so they are telling me to italicize uh, italicize the source document so the whole document they want me to italicize it then they also want me to uh, make it font style Tahoma so I told you just come here type in Tahoma Tahoma is there then you press enter then they are telling us uh, size 10.5 10.5 so when I click here you don't have 10.5 just as I told you just type it 10.5 then you say enter okay so that's it this is the source document don't mind about the heading because they told you to edit remember to save changes as you are working let us see what they are telling us again to do they are telling us to insert right aligned let me copy this one still copy it to here so that i can easily remember it they're telling me insert right aligned page numbers in the header of the document and your name and index number so they want us to insert page numbers in the header this time i told you you just click the header part double click it okay then you say insert they're telling us to insert page numbers uh, aligned on the right so they want page numbers on your right that means they have to be here so when I come under page numbers I'll come to top I want them at the top are aligned on the right hand okay so this is the right the right hand here are we together so I click it so it is showing me page number four and they are telling us to uh, add your name and index number so I can still click here and add my name and index number let me say uh, let me just say insert name let me say Kawalia Julius Julius U009 0 stroke 71 76 then I say I just leave my have you seen so I have inserted my index number and this are we together alternatively if you don't want to stress yourself you can just uh, insert a different one like this uh, insert page number top they have remember it has to be on the right okay let me look for one with uh, a title a title I, uh, there is no one with the title oh that's too bad too bad too bad too bad okay it's fine if you don't see it it's okay you can just even insert a header having a page number and that okay 
I can use this uh, there's one which has a page number which I like I like this one here I can use this one here it depends on what you want to insert okay that's what was required let's look for another one. Oh, sorry I removed the index number let me redo so the index number is there so let's go and try to see what else they wanted and they said a uh, hey, sorry they wanted the index number centered in the footer okay so that means this index number was supposed no, not supposed to be in the header let me cut it it was supposed to be in the footer and it had to be centered so I had to just paste it there highlight it home I mean home then you center it so that's what they wanted remember to read instructions carefully read instructions carefully before you attempt any number okay let me see what was required next and uh, they are telling us save your work as exam tip dot doc so they wanted us to save this work as exam tip dot doc exam tip dot doc so i have to just press uh, go here file save as exam exam tip don't include dot doc dot doc is the file extension so it was supposed to be exam tip then you save then after however much you are done remember we have to print but you don't have a printer right now you can just go to file and you say print you print all your pages but you don't have a printer right now so let us try to see after that you have to go back to your work and check if you've done all the numbers i advise you to be with a small pen or a pencil that whenever you fail you 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 you, you do something you tick example we did this we did this but i don't remember doing this we did, we did this yes add a first line indent we did that italicize we did that then write a line footer yes so the number was that easy and it was simple for each and everyone to pass otherwise thank you very much and thanks for watching we are still getting more examples